All right, so the easiest way to explain significant figures is to use America as a diagram. On the left, you have the Pacific Ocean, and on the right, you have the Atlantic. So take a number like 3,004.56. The decimal is present, so you're going to count from the left. All numbers count, so it's six significant figures. Or take a number like 5,000. There's no decimal, so you start from the right, and all zeros don't count, so you only have one. Moving on to scientific notation, if the exponent on the 10 is negative, you're going to move the decimal to the left. But, on the contrary, if it's positive, you're going to move it to the right. So, for example, if you take the number 3.14 times 10 to the 4th, you move it to the right four spaces, and you get 31,400. Or if you take 5.28 times 10 to the negative fifth, you move the decimal five spaces to the left and add four zeros, and you get 0 0.0000528. All right, and finally, percent uncertainty. Percent uncertainty can best be explained by taking a measurement like a meter stick. The uncertainty is going to be one millimeter, or 0 0.001 of one meter. So take 76 meters. It's still going to be plus or minus one millimeter for either 76 or 48. So first divide 76, one by 76, you get 0 0.013. Multiply that by 100 and you get 1.3% uncertainty.